Hello everyone, in this video we are going to understand a one simple thumb rule for the sample size calculation. Already in the previous video we discussed the lot of methods for sample size calculation. We discussed the lot of formulas for sample size calculation. Even we discussed some tables for sample size determination. We used some calculator for sample size calculation. Here in this video we understand one thumb rule for the sample size calculation. Let us take one example how we can use a one simple thumb rule for the sample size calculation. In this example, university want to decision whether they want to go online for the final examination or whether they should go for the offline for the final examination. Now for that purpose, they want to interact with the student. They want to understand opinion of the student. What is the preference of the student for final examination? Whether student will prefer the online mode of the final examination or whether stu students will refer the, whether students will prefer the offline mode of the final examination. Now for this purpose, university is going to target the postgraduate student. This survey is basically for the PG student, postgraduate student and for the professional courses. Now here I will explain how you can use the thumb rule for the sample size calculation. Here university has considered only four courses that courses are MBA, ME, MPharm and MC. Here in the third column, uh, we mention the population size of the respective courses like for MBA, the total population size, total number of students are 5000. For ME, total number of students are 3500. For MPharm, total number of students are 4200. For MCA, the total number of students are 3400. Means this number of students is nothing but the respective population of that courses. Now here we want to understand, here we want to find out how we can select the sample out of the total number of students. It means how we can select the sample from the available population. Now for this thumb rule, at least we should select the 5% of the sample from the population or 10% sample of the population. Now let us take the fourth column and fifth column. In the fourth column, we have discussed the sample size with 10% of the population and in the second wave, we consider the sample size with the 5% of the population. Now here for each course, now let's take an example of this row, MBA row. Number of students are 5000. Here, the researcher considered the 10% of the population means the sample size is 500. Similarly, for ME student sample size is 350. For MPharm student sample size is 420. And for MCA sample size is 340. In this way, if we take the 10% of the total population, the total sample size is 1610. And in second way, the sample size is 5% of the population. Similar calculation for MBA, if we take the 5% of 5000 student, it is 250. For ME, if you take the 5% of 3500, it is 175. Again, for MPharm, it is 210. And for MCA, it is 170. Therefore, total sample size after considering the 5% of the total population is 805. In this way, we can calculate the sample size by using this thumb rule. It's at least 5% of the population to the 10% of the population. Now here obviously there are two way available in the first way sample size is 1610 and in the second way sample size is 805. Even you can go with the 5% even you can go with this sample size that is 805 means sample size is equal to 5% of the total population. Let us take second example. Now in the second example research problem is that we want to understand the problem faced by the small scale companies in the Mumbai. Obviously for that purpose we should interact with the small scale organizations, small scale companies. In this case, the total number of small scale companies in Mumbai is equal to 5000 and here we have taken the 10% of the population. Now here for sample size, we have taken the 10% of the total population. Therefore, here sample size is equal to 500. But in these two cases, what we have done, we have considered at least 5% of the population to the 10% of the population for sample size calculation. But if you want to use this thumb rule, there are some rules. If you want to use this thumb rule for the sample size calculation, then you have to consider some assumption. Your first assumption should be your population should be a finite population. If you have a finite population, then and then you can use the thumb rule. Second important thing is that your population should be more than 3000. If your population is more than 3000, then and then you can use this thumb rule. Therefore, it is also one of the easiest way to calculate your sample size with the help of this thumb rule. With this note, I would like to end this video. Thank you for watching this video.